Hi, this is Eric Westman. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you uh, on a video tutorial uh, an easy way to take care of your default previews in Lightroom. This is based on a situation that I had this past fall when I purchased the Canon 5D Mark III and I was all excited to see what a great camera it was and I started downloading images uh, into Lightroom, importing them into Lightroom and they weren't as sharp as I thought they should be and uh, th this is a long story but I'll make it very short I first exchanged my the body that I got at B&H, they were very good about it, no problems the second body I got still had issues with focusing and after some back and forth with Canon, um, they determined that I had what's called a front focus issue, whereas the autofocus was causing the image to be sharp just in front of the sensor instead of right on the sensor. So there are some what they call micro focus adjustments that can be made in the camera based on the specific lens and at the telephoto and at the wide angle ranges of that lens and they will always be remembered every time you put that lens on the camera remembers it so that should have made things perfect but it didn't and I sent stuff back to Canon and I was without the camera for about two months or so out of the fall I bought it at the end of um, August and um, what happened what, with my discussions with Canon is um, they said well are you reviewing this in the Canon software I said no because Lightroom is a major part of my workflow and I have no need for the Canon software and he said well you might want to just check it out and see so I did uh, the, the DPP the uh, digital uh, photo professional and the images were sharp and so that got me to thinking okay well the camera does seem to be working so why are my previews not sharp in Lightroom so I started tweaking a few of the controls and what I wanted to do here is show you my results and how you can uh, get those results or just teach you how to fine-tune for your own particular results with your own camera if it's not the, the 5D Mark III. So I'm in the develop module right now and the first thing I looked at was sharpening right here on the, the right and the amount is defaulted at 25 and I found through my playing that I wanted to put the amount at 50 and that got me what I needed and then also if we go up to the basic panel here I increase the contrast the default is 0 I set it at 5 and I also increase the clarity default is 0 and I set it at 5 and what I first did was to experiment on uh, just sample images, a variety of different images and, and uh, it seemed to be working so what I did then was create a preset that I could apply to larger numbers of images so um, the, the image that we're looking at right now I had reset so it was back at the zero position so um, the only changes you saw me make on it were the contrast, clarity and sharpening so if I want to make a preset we go up to the presets uh, panel on the left here click on it and we're going to do this is we're going to call it demo 5d mark 3 and I'll call it sharpening okay so I'm going to check none right here um, and then we'll go through and just check off the contrast and the clarity and the sharpening and I'm going to leave the process version checked um, you'll see that this will go into the uh, user presets folder which is fine and we click on create and you see it come up right here so then you can go to a variety of different images and just apply this preset to those images and once you are happy with the effect that you're getting you can make this a default so that anytime Lightroom recognizes that particular camera it will apply those presets to it. So the way you do this is you go over on the right at the bottom of the panels here and where it says reset if you hold down the alt key or the option key depending if you're PC or Mac you see it changes to set default so you can click on the set default and you get this little dialog box that asks you if you want to change it uh, 
the default settings for Lightroom and Camera Raw uh, for this particular camera model. And if you say yes, um, it will update it and it will recognize based on the, uh, the metadata of your card every time you import an image from that camera those settings will be applied and they will be there built in when your presets are built so when you open up an image you, you don't have to wait for it to rebuild whereas if you had waited for the, all the, pre, the previews to be built and then applied the preset there's going to be that extra delay so this is the best way to deal with the problem for, for, for whatever reasons Adobe feels that they don't want to make the image too sharp um, but I find it very frustrating because I want to know if I if I captured a sharp image I want to see it sharp and make my judgment on whether to keep the image or not based on how sharp it can be and the reason that it took so long to figure this out is that in the six years that I've owned the Canon 5D, the original 5D, um, and been using Lightroom. I've also used a Canon G11 and I've had some other people shoot for me and their cameras have showed previews. All of them, the previews were fine. I've never had to touch sharpening in, in the six years or so that I've been using Lightroom. So anyway, now that I've figured out what the problem is, I just want to get it out there so that perhaps it can save some people the, the frustration that I had. So I hope this is helpful. If you did find it helpful, please share it with your friends. This is Eric Westman. Thanks for joining me.